Do you want to know how to build AI image analyzer? Then watch this video till the end. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and I'm happy to see all of you today. Thank you so much for coming back in today's video. I'm going to teach you how to build AI analyzer tools really simple. So you almost don't have to have any knowledge prior to this video. I will take you step by step and we will use Project IDX and Gemini API. It's mean you don't have to set up anything. Everything we will do on the cloud. If you are ready, then let's get started. Okay, let's get started. First step is pretty simple. We need to open website idxgoogle.com. If you haven't registered yet, you have to register first and then you will be able to see the screen. The next step we need to choose template. I will choose Gemini API template. Then we will give the name to our project. I will call it test2024. Environments I will choose white. It's a JavaScript web application environment. And then press create button. After a few minutes, IDX will create for us everything. Then we will see our template files. Then we can modify them the way we like. Okay, this is our index.html file. We can modify it the way you like, but let's first look at it. The initial template contains almost everything that we need. This template uses Gemini 1.5 flash model, so it's more than enough for us. Let me check if it's work. As you can see, it doesn't work because we need to get an API key first. If you want to know detailed instruction how to get API key, uh, please watch another video about Project IDX. I will leave the link under the description for this video. Once you get your key, copy it and then go to main.js file and replace API key. So let's check if our application is working. Let's press go and see what Gemini will return to us. As you can see, Gemini understands what's inside the picture and it suggests some receipt to bake this kind of bakery. Since this application already on the server, you will be able to share the link or open this application in your browser. The URL is not beautiful yet, however, you will be able to see that everything is working and you can share this link with your partners or co-workers. To complete our AI image analyzer, we need to be able to add our own image. So let's make some adjustment to the template. Let me change the name of our application. I will call it AI Image Analyzer. As you can see, each time I've made a change, the web application at the right hand side automatically updated. Then let's delete these divs because what we want, we want to be able to upload our own image. I'll add input field here. It will be input type file. I don't add any restrictions, but I add ID field input. Then let's change the file value for our input for prompt. Ask anything you want about this image. Okay, we're almost done. So as you can see, this is our new application. Instead of predefined images, right now we can upload our own Okay, I upload the image, then press go, and as you can see, we have an error. And the reason for that, we haven't defined JavaScript code to read our file. Let's add some changes. We open main.js file, then at this section, at line 23, we remove this line because we don't need it anymore. And let me add a few lines of code here. The first line will help us select the file input element. The second line will help us to get the first file from the list because file input element returns a file list object which contains the list of files. So we need only one file for now. Then I will add a few extra lines of code. I will create a new promise that will resolve with the base 64 string representation. The read as data URL method 
reads the file and encodes it as a base64 data URL. So we need this string to pass it to our combined prompt. Okay, let's check the result. I upload the image and then I ask what is on the image and press go. And as you can see, it's Gemini API explain everything about this image. Let's try one more example. I select another image. Example, this is image that I used for my article, Perplex TI tutorial. Press go and let's see the result. As you could see, everything is working pretty well. Our AI image analyzer is working. Within five minutes, by using IDX and Gemini API, we create this AI image analyzer. So cool. That's it. And as you can see, it's really simple. With Project IDX and Gemini API, you can build a bunch of different tools. This is just one of the example. I hope you find this video useful and informative. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, it's okay, but please click like and share with me your feedback and comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now because it's a good moment. Your support is really important. I'm planning to create more useful videos. If you have some ideas and if you want I cover a specific topic, please let me know. You also can go back and watch my previous videos because they are really useful. Okay, see you in my next videos. Bye.